Hello everyone, this is me Abdul Sabor, your English language instructor and you're watching Anglio City. Anglio City is one of the best platforms where you can learn and enhance your English language skills. Well, the topic that we are going to discuss uh, in this very specific tutorial is going to be about uh, personality. Now, what is personality? A lot of you must be thinking about what is personality? Well, personality refers to an individual uh, mindset. Personality refers to an individual attitude. Personality refers to an individual emotion, right? Now, uh, a lot of us uh, uh, misunderstand the word personality in appearance, where appearance is your outer look, how you look like, what's your body structure, what's your hair color, that refers to uh, appearance. Appearance refers to how you look like. Are you uh, good looking? Are you smart? Right? This is appearance. Where personality, personality uh, is the inner look. Inner look uh, refers to your attitude, your behavior, and your mindset. Whether are you a social person or you are a reserved person. So that is personality. Well, what are the types of personality? There are three major parts, uh, there are three major types of personality, generally speaking, right? The first one is extrovert. Now, what is extrovert? Extrovert refers to someone who is very social, a person who is very friendly, right? He can be called as extrovert, where the antonym of uh, extrovert is uh, introvert. Introvert refers to someone who's very shy and who's not outgoing, who likes to uh, uh, live alone and who wants to spend time uh, uh, with himself or with herself. Uh, these are the people. Uh, introverts are the people uh, who would like to stay reserved and who would like to stay and enjoy their own company. And the other type of uh, personality is ambivert. Now, what is ambivert? Ambivert is actually the combination of extrovert and uh, introvert, right? These are the people uh, who have uh, the uh, multiple personality types. Uh, mean, if they have their close friends, they like to stay social with them but they are not more outgoing, right? Uh, they are outgoing when they have their favorite people around uh, themselves, right? And they like to talk a lot only to people who they have something in common with. Now, there are a lot of people who are very frank, right? They enjoy everyone's company, but these are the people just like myself. I'm having this personality type, ambivert, right? I like to talk a lot with those people who I have something in common, who are my good friends and who are my close friends. And I stay reserved when I meet new people, right? Though I'm more welcoming, I'm very friendly, I'm not very friendly, somehow friendly with people I meet, but I'm mostly ambivert. Well, now in today's uh, tutorial, I'll be teaching you, these were the personality definition and personality types. Now, I'll be teaching you in this very specific tutorial about uh, 10 uh, interesting uh, uh, vocabularies or mostly they are adjectives, right? Why? Because adjectives and, and adjectives, they are the descriptive adjectives. Now, what are descriptive adjectives? Descriptive adjectives actually describes a noun or pronoun, right? Descriptive adjective job is in order to describe a person. Right now, when you meet someone, you don't know them actually until and unless you don't have a table talk, you don't have a conversation with them. After you have conversation with them, you get to know whether that person is talkative, a chatterbox. A talkative person can also be called as chatterbox, whether that person is chatterbox, whether that person is reserved, shy or timid. Well, so let's kick off with the very first and very interesting adjective, which is easy going. Now, easy going is one of my favorite personality types, right? Now, easy going uh, refers to someone who is level headed. Level headed means who is very gentle. Gentle. He knows how to talk and he knows how to behave and he knows 
how to cope up with the situations, with different situations. So that person is called easygoing, who have a great command over their emotions, who are not more expressive, right? Uh, who are more kind of, you know, easygoing, a person who is very relaxed, chill and gentle. The second personality type is dynamic. Now, what is dynamic? Dynamic refers to someone who is full of energy and full of great ideas. We mostly have friends who are kind of creative. For dynamic, we can also use another synonym which is creative so dynamic refers to someone who is creative now the next interesting uh, adjective which describes personality is witty witty refers to someone who is having kind of sense of humor witty refers to someone who's very clever very cunning and very crafty and this is also one of my favorite idiom well the next one is dull now what does dull mean Dull is a kind of negative adjective, right? Dull refers to someone who is boring. Now, there are some people who are mm, kind of uh, cheesed off and browned off people uh, who do not smile much, right? Uh, who do not... Now, these are all personality types and how their personality is con constructed. Well, that all depends on the social construction, how they are brought up and how they are raised. But we do have certain people who are not jolly now what does jolly mean jolly is a person who have a kind of funny and jolly and a kind of happy face right but on the other hand there are some people who are with this personality trait now personality trait mean personality qualities and there are people with different personality qualities now if you see someone who does not smile who does not laugh and who is kind of boring you can call him dull well, the next uh, uh, adjective in that is charismatic. Now, charismatic refers to someone who is charming. Charismatic refers to someone who is exciting and fascinating. It's, it can be used, charismatic can be used as a synonym for dull. And charismatic could be a positive adjective. Well, the next uh, uh, adjective in that is short-tempered. Now, short-tempered, we do have friends around us, we do have people around us who are with this personality trait, uh, we can call them short-tempered. Now, short-tempered refers to someone who gets uh, irritated very soon. Short-tempered are the people who get angry very quickly, right? So, those people can be called as short-tempered. Well, the next uh, adjective in that is generous. Now, generous is uh, an adjective which refers uh, uh, mostly to people who are helpful, who are cooperative, right? Now, there are people who likes helping others and there are people who, uh, who, who does not like, uh, uh, there are people who don't like uh, other pe helping other people, right? So, the person who likes to uh, help other person who is more cooperative with uh, teamwork, right? That person can be called as generous, who has a helping hand, who always serve his hand in order to help other people, right? That person can be called as generous. Okay, now the next uh, word is aggressive. Aggressive is a person who is an angry bird. An angry bird. A synonym for uh, aggressive can be angry a person who likes to take his aggravation all the time out who's uh, mostly having that very rude behavior that person can be called as aggressive now uh, antonym for aggressive can be an aesthetic person or a jolly person the next adjective and that is uh, uh, down to earth now down to earth is also one of my favorite e uh, adjectives right and I like to stay more down to earth down to earth is a person who stays very gentle uh, who does not uh, show a lot of ego and who is uh, more friendly kind of friendly and who likes to stay calm all the time who does not show more reaction and who is very down to earth